Earlier this year, we had a ton of success on this channel with new subs covering The Umbrella Academy, a smaller show done by Netflix based off the Dark Horse comics of the same name. Because of that, we've decided to pick up and follow the boys as well. Now, before we begin today's video, we are featuring a giveaway. We're going to be giving away a copy of The Boys Volume 1, and all you have to do to enter is pretty simple. One, be subscribed. I mean, that's pretty, pretty basic. Shouldn't have to ask that. Two, like this video. And three, leave a comment about the boys below telling us which character sounds the most interesting to you and why. Or whatever you want to discuss boys related, I don't, I don't really care. Ten seconds of effort and we will pick a winner shortly and notify that person on the back end of our channel or via our Discord. So, you know, make sure you're in our Discord as well. Also, during this video, I may be blurring out some things in order to keep the video from being demonetized due to graphic content. Now back to the actual vid. The Boys is a new Amazon Prime television show based off the Wildstorm and Dynamite comic of the same name. Now, before we get any further, this is not a comic book show for children or teens. This is extremely mature content, and if you're looking for a TV show or a comic book to read that, like, gives you good feelings and a positive outlook on life, this is not that thing. In fact, during the original run after issue 6, the book was cancelled by DC Comics, who owned the Wildstorm imprint and was super duper uncomfortable with the edgy content. The creator and writer, Garth Ennis, is probably best known for his work in the extremely graphic Punisher Max series, as well as many, many other graphic comics. But again, before we go into content here, keep in mind that these stories have to do with extreme violence, murder, drug use, sexual debauchery, sexual assault, and just about any other horrible thing you can think of. The Boys is a comic about a world where superpowered people are very prevalent in society. There are roughly 200,000 of them living in the world, and they range from good to downright evil. Many of these superpowered people, or uh, soups as they are often called, live like celebrities with massive branding and endorsement deals. They are everywhere in pop culture and their image is very, very important. However, much like the celebrities of our world, they often act as if the rules don't apply to them. And seeing as they have incredible abilities and power, who can really reinforce rules of society on these people in the first place? As long as they don't screw up their own branding, they often live their lives right on the edge of good and downright evil. So you might be thinking to yourself, where did all these superpowered people come from? The superpowered people of the planet got their powers passed down to them genetically after a special serum called Compound V was created and used by Nazi scientists during World War II. However, the main scientist that invented this wasn't actually a Nazi and he was able to smuggle himself and the compound out of Nazi Germany. And that serum eventually found its way into the hands of a corporation called the Vought American. From there, they were able to create a number of superpowered beings in order to become the most lucrative company on the planet. Normally, this serum is not available to the public, but as time progressed, people who were injected with the compound had offspring, and they had offspring, and superpowers manifested in various ways in those people. Now, the compound is still in existence, and it is possible to get your hands on it, but it's extremely expensive, and whenever that happens, basically anybody can be turned into a superhero. Additionally, there also exists a lesser and weaker version of the compound on the black market called Blue, which is cut with cocaine and it creates a massive high for anybody who takes it. The core of the show in the comics revolves around two extremely powerful groups, and I won't go into every character's origin and powers here for the sake of time, but I will be making future videos on the most popular characters. The first group that I want to cover is known as the Seven, and it may seem weird that I introduce the Seven first, but you need to understand a little bit about them before I introduce you to the boys. The Seven are essentially the Justice League, or the Avengers of this universe. They are the most powerful and noteworthy heroes in the world. However, due to the fact that they have all of this power, they're basically the ultimate authority on the planet, and all of that power being unchecked has led to the group being some of the worst people on the planet. They were created and owned by the Vought American, but they are very, very difficult to control. Publicly, they are some of the greatest heroes in the world, but privately, they are some of the absolute worst pieces of garbage. They are led by Homelander, an all-powerful Superman-like character who runs the team with an iron fist. 
Homelander is far more powerful than any other hero in the Seven. Publicly, he is the face of heroism, but behind closed doors, he is a literal psychopath and a malignant narcissist. The remainder of the team is comprised of Queen Maeve, the universe's version of Wonder Woman, Black Noir, whose powers are similar to Homelander, but whose true appearance is a mystery, Jack from Jupiter, whose powers are similar to Martian Manhunter, the speedster A-Train, the Aquaman-like character The Deep, and the newest recruit Starlight, who resembles DC's Stargirl. The second group is the group you came here to learn about, the boys. The boys are a special group of government-funded, CIA-backed badasses who have dedicated themselves to keeping super-powered people in check. You see, like I said before, the soups on this planet have grown fairly accustomed to being able to do whatever the hell they want whenever they want. The boys act as a balancing system. Whenever a group of superpower people get a bit too reckless, the boys show up and give them a taste of what's coming to them. Now, sometimes it's as simple as blackmailing them into check by revealing public information that they don't want other people to know. Other times, it's literally a vicious beating, oftentimes to the point of death. Whatever it takes to get the superpower people back in check and back in control. The boys consist of the leader, Billy the Butcher, or just Butcher, a hard-hitting and gruff man who seems to pretty much know everything about everybody. He also has some very deep history with Homelander that I will cover in another video, but rest assured, there's a ton of bad blood there. The remainder of the boys is rounded out by Butcher's right-hand man, Mother's Milk, a terrifying and fairly mysterious character known as the female of the species, the vicious and furious brawler Frenchie, and last but not least, the newest recruit, Scotsman Huey. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Nick, if the boys are facing superheroes on a regular basis, how can they possibly compete with these people? Wouldn't a superhero wipe the floor with a regular blue-collar average Joe? And yeah, that's a great question, imaginary person I made up, but that's why I made sure to mention Compound V earlier. Once the Butcher determines that you're worthy to enter the boys, you get a dose of the real, unadulterated Compound V. Compound V manifests itself in different ways in each user, however most people get some form of super strength and durability. Compound V allows the boys to face the toughest superheroes in a fair fight, oftentimes to the shock and surprise of those heroes. You see, most of the people in the world who decide to become a superhero didn't really have any training, they just have powers, so they put on some tights and they decide to become a celebrity. Because the boys are all trained to do what they do, they have a distinct advantage against the relatively untrained heroes of the world. The boys also have the distinct advantage of being able to do research on their targets before they face off with them. Oftentimes, the superheroes who are their targets don't even know their targets until it's too late. The only thing that's preventing more members of the boys from existing is the fact that Compound V is extremely expensive to produce, oftentimes a single dose can be billions of dollars. But that is about where I want to end this primer for the boys. We will be releasing a ton of videos about some of the more popular characters in the show, including their comic book history and abilities, and depending upon how well those videos are received, we'll make more. So if you want more content about the boys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share this content. It's pretty simple. Normal YouTuber stuff. The more views we get, the more of this content we'll make. It's pretty simple. This has been Nick with Key Issues. Thank you guys for watching this video, and you know the motto, the boys over everything.